Over my Thanksgiving break, I created a metabolism resource that I hope will help my students and help you guys as well. And so basically it has outlines about various topics in metabolism. It has all the videos and images related to my metabolism content. The bulk of the things is it goes through actual outlines of some of the key things. What's the chemical logic of steps the glycolysis say? What are the things to look for? Where are you generating energy? What are the points of regulation? So we have the citric acid cycle as well and things with the regulation of that. We've got the mitochondrial membrane selectivity. So what can and can't go out of the mitochondria? How do we shuttle things in and out? And so speaking of in and out, if you click on a figure, it'll zoom in for you and you can take it back out. And so that'll allow you to see this figures in more detail. The amino acid metabolism, urea cycle, transamination, key points, lipid and ketone metabolism, all these various things like that, the electron transport chain, oxidative phosphorylation. So I really try to go through and outline some of the key things to keep in mind and focus on. And so I hope this resource is helpful for my students. I hope that it's helpful for you. I also have kind of a guide to tips for approaching and interpreting metabolic pathway diagrams. I know they can seem really intimidating, but they're actually not that bad. And so there's a bunch of logic that you can follow for them. And so speaking of pathway diagrams, I have my main diagrams along with links to Zenodo, where is where you can download the PDF version. It has a DOI that you can cite and things as well. So I hope that this is helpful and happy learning metabolism. I know it seems really scary, but it's really a lot of fun. And hopefully this will help take some of the stress away and help you see the key things that you should focus on. And I'm saying key things that you can fo should focus on for your learning and so that you can help it so that you can approach these other not pathways that you haven't even heard of and still be able to understand things about them because you're focusing on the key principles rather than on memorizing things. And so this isn't one of those resources that's like those high impact. I remember when I was learning metabolism and everything was trying to get, get you to be like, oh, this is going to be on the MCATs. Well, I don't know what's on the MCATs, but I know that if you know these things, then you are, are, have a very solid understanding of metabolism. So I hope it helps.